Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to the first video of this channel and uh, this video is going to be a project demonstration video on an online examination system that I built using JSP, servlets, JSTL, expression language and a simple MySQL database. So this is just uh, the first video of many upcoming videos that are going to be uploaded shortly and so this video is just going to be a demonstration. Following videos will uh, demonstrate step by step uh, and I'll be coding along and showing you how we can build this application from scratch. So whoever's interested can wait uh, as the videos are being uploaded and we can build this application from scratch. And uh, whoever's interested in just directly heading over to the repository, download, cloning the project, running it on their local system, exploring it and improving upon it, can just head over to the repository. And I'll be leaving the link to this repository in the description below. So let's get started with the demonstration. So this is just uh, so this is the home page of the project and uh, it's just a simple image slider with um, a section here that says fast and secure and reliable and uh, just a simple connection icon section and a footer so yeah so then these uh, yeah so and it's also and so, just, so this is just built using html css and uh, bootstrap and as we can see this is also responsive so you can see that the navigation bar shrinks into a hamburger menu. Everything is readjusted according to the dimensions of the screen, and yeah, and uh, so there is no so the so the styling of the page remains intact, you no know, given whatever given the screen dimensions dimensions of the screen. So then we can head over to the about us page about page, and uh, here we have just a simple description about the system. An administrator section here, an ex an expl and a, a section explaining how does it work, the terms and conditions, and this is an inactive link since there is no help page created as of now. Y'all can create that, improve upon the system, and yeah. So this is just a, it redirects you to the login page. This read and this as well redirects you to the login page. And just a get started thing, and so the system works like this. When you click on login, it allows you to log in as a student, where I'll be taking the assessment, and as an admin where I can add questions to the assessments created and I can sign up as a student and but the administrator you cannot sign up as an administrator since the username and password already be fed into the system so for security purposes so yeah so we can go ahead and uh, register and uh, register ourselves as students so we can just have uh, any name here that can be John for example um, Let's go ahead with something that's not been used already in our database. For example, um, let's go ahead with uh, Jim. Okay, and uh, oh, that's been used as well. Mm. Let's just go ahead with uh, Raghav, and uh, yeah, and, uh, we can just have Raghav at gmail.com and uh, just uh, password. So we can just click on register it registers the user into the database so then we can just have the username and the password we can log in and here is the welcome screen for the user we just created so it says welcome raghav a description about the system and select the examination that you would like to take so before we start with the examination process i would just like to log in as the administrator and show you how the interface looks like and how this is how the administrator can add remove Add add questions and view the view the examination. So you can log in as the administrator, and it says welcome admin, and uh, please select the exam which you want to add questions to. So here I've added two questions. Uh, so I've created so Python and Django. So these are the two database tables for the examinations where I've stored the which store questions. So these two are essentially database tables which store multiple questions. So I can select the examination that I want to edit. So one, if I select Python, for example, select exam, then we can see Python has been selected. And then we can go ahead and add questions and view the exam. So let's just view the exam first. You view the exam, we can see that 10 questions have already been inputted into the, nine questions have been inputted into the system, along with four choices and a right answer. So we can go ahead and create, uh, we can uh, we can go ahead and add another question and uh, yeah, we can explore uh, more. Uh, we can explore the system further. So we can go ahead to the home, and we can go to Django, select exam, set examination, view the exam. So we can see only two questions have been added to the ex to the Django 
uh, to the Django database to the Django database table and so we can go ahead and add questions we can add question number three uh, and we can just say Django is a framework to build web apps let's have that as the correct answer mobile apps uh, just have just have any random choices databases and uh, just have network management software and uh, let's just go ahead and select the correct answer here add question and uh, it says question inserted successfully if we view the question it says Django is a framework to build web apps mobile apps, databases, network management software, and web apps is the correct answer here. So we can go ahead and, uh, so we saw that how we can add exams and we can check the marks of the students. So as we can see, this is the user that we had created, user number 12, Raghav, who has not taken the exam yet, so, has, so the marks field is empty. So we can log out. And now, if you are, if we log in, log back in as a student, and uh, select Raghav and four, we can see that uh, we can select Django since we added the question there and uh, start exam and see we can see that the timer of a thousand seconds has been started and the questions have also appeared so we can go ahead and select the answers so what is Django it's a Python framework model view template and it's used to create web apps submit exam and it says the examination has ended please click on the record button and once you click on record answers it's essentially updated back to the da uh, database so uh, there's ever three questions and all three were answered attempted correctly so if you log in log back in as the administrator it should um, show uh, it should show us that raghav's received three out of three so if we go ahead check marks yeah we can see that he's received three out of three so yeah, so that is mm, so that is the system, and uh, it's more of a mini project. But uh, and so we'll be creating more video. We'll be creating more videos where we build the system from scratch. So thanks for watching. Please like the video. It really uh, motivates me to upload more content. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching.